I'm Melissa from the blog hymnsandhome.com, and today we're going to put together a really simple fall wreath for my front door. Last week when I shared my front porch decor, I mentioned that I was going to make a wreath. Well, I ended up using all of my florals for my entryway, um, and so I really only have a few of these little decorative pumpkins left. Um, so we're just going to see what I can come up with and just try to piece together a really simple but pretty wreath. Welcome to Hymns and Home. I'm Melissa, wife, mom, professional musician, and blogger at hymnsandhome.com. Join me as I share inspiration for modern cottage living and my love of all things homemade and thrifted. From decor and DIY to vintage, thrifting, cooking, and gardening, here you'll find the resources you need to create your very own modern cottage. Last week when I stopped at Michael's to look for some florals, I picked up just a bunch of different things, not really knowing exactly how I was gonna use it. That's just kind of how I tend to roll. I tend to just grab a bunch of what looks good and I figure it out later and then I can return whatever I don't use. I just make sure not to take the tags off until after I know what I'm doing with it. So I used up all of my florals for my entryway garland and the bucket in my entryway, which I'm gonna show later this week. I just gotta get that edited. But I still have a few of these pumpkins left. Um, I have this really pretty garland that I actually used in my tablescape, which stay tuned because I'm going to be sharing a fall tablescape next week. And then I picked up a bunch of different ribbon that was also really pretty. Now this one is like a blue and white ticking. Um, it's a little too neutral for me. I would like a little more fall color in my wreath. So I'm going to save this for a different time, different project. I really like this one, which actually matches my new tablecloth. But again, it's just a little bit too neutral. So I'm going to set that aside for a different purpose. This one is kind of a muted yellow linen, kind of a fall linen color. Um, but I think I'm going to save this probably for Christmas presents because that will, I have something in mind for Christmas presents on that. So I think I'm actually going to end up going with this kind of muted orange and white plaid, which I think will be really pretty with the greenery and the white pumpkins on the wreath. Now I mentioned I used up all of my florals in my entryway, but I actually dug through my basement and found just a few branches of random things that I could use. So I am gonna grab a wreath form that I already have, as well as some floral wire and some wire cutters. And let's just get started and see what I can come up with here. I have two options for wreath forms. I have this just regular round grapevine wreath form. And then I have this one left over from last year. It has more of like the feathered natural look. I think I am gonna probably go with just the plain round one. As I was digging through my basement, I found some of this faux seeded eucalyptus from Target. I got this last year, and I used to have it in a vase on my dresser. I'm just gonna start by laying out some of my greenery here. And I don't think I'm gonna cover the whole thing. I think I'm just gonna do kind of a swatch down here of greenery and pumpkins. And we're just gonna make it really, really simple. When it comes to sticking greenery into a grapevine wreath, I'm the type of person that likes to just stick it in so that I can easily take it out later and make a different kind of wreath. But if you want to secure yours, you can use something like floral wire or hot glue or something like that. But personally, I am just going to stick it straight into the grapevine wreath. My front door doesn't get a whole lot of wind and the overhang is big enough that it doesn't get a lot of rain. So the elements really aren't of much of a concern to me. We're also gonna take this tag off. <laughs> there we go. And don't forget you can always remove whatever stems you don't need or in the way. The nice thing about faux, faux florals is that you can bend them and modify them to however best works for your situation. So don't feel guilty about taking them apart. I know some people are like afraid to cut, cut faux florals because they think they'll 
you know, mess them up or never get them back to the way they wanted them again. So remember, you can always stick stuff back on. You can hot glue stuff back, you know, together and just don't worry about it. Just have fun with it. All right, I'm going to put a little sprig right here. All right. I think that makes a good base layer for, for our pumpkins to go on. I'm going to turn this around so you can see it a little better. So I'm just working at one corner of the wreath, and I think that is going to be a corner. I don't think I'm going to have that directly at the bottom. I think this is going to hang with it kind of at an angle down here, and I'm going to nestle the pumpkins right here. I have these big pumpkins that I thought about putting in the middle here and then putting some smaller pumpkins around. But I actually think I would really like the pop of color from a bow made out of this really pretty checkered material here. So I think I want that to be my central focal point here. <laughs> and the baby is up from her nap. So if you hear the baby, that's why she is sitting in her high chair keeping me company. So we're gonna make our bow first. All right, so I have, I'm sure there are a lot of different ways to make bows, but this is just the way I'm gonna do it. So I literally am just gonna use all of, the, all of the ribbon off of my spool there. And I am just gonna leave some for my first tail here. And then I'm going to go back and forth and this will determine how big my bow is. So I just wanna make sure that's a good size, I think so. All right, so I am just gonna hold it in the center of where my, the center of my bow is going to be with one tail sticking off and I am going to just go back and forth. Back and forth. Just gathering it up at the middle here. And you can make them shorter lengths, longer lengths, just vary it so that they're not all the same. However you want to do it is fine. All right, but make sure you leave some at the other end for your other tail. So I just have this big old clump in the center. And then I am going to take a piece of my floral wire, wrap it around the center here. This is how we're gonna wire it onto the wreath. So leaving two long tails of wire sticking off the back of our bow so we can wire it to our wreath. And this is wired ribbon, by the way, which you want because it will give it more structure. And before I even worry about fluffing these or shaping these, we're going to attach it to our wreath first. So I'm just going to stick these through the grapevine wreath. Just going to flip this over a little bit so I can see the back. I'm going to twist this to wire it on. Trim the excess, flip it back over, and now we can do our, our adjusting. So I want these to trail down nice and long. Now I'm going to fluff these and just make them into these puffy loops and turn them every which way. Like I said, some are bigger than others. There. And then we're gonna take our little tails here, just kind of give them a little, I don't even know what you call this, a little wave to them, I guess. For trimming these, you can either trim them at an angle so that they come to a point at one side, or the way I like to do it is to trim it into a V shape. So just make sure you have it as long as you want, which I think right here is good. And then you're just gonna clip it into a V. I like that. And then we're just going to add some pumpkins, I think. I'm going to make it really simple. I'm just going to add a few of these little pumpkins. So I'm going to cut them off the, off the branch. Mm -hmm. 
I'm pretty sure this is the fastest fall wreath I've ever made, <laughs> but I really, really like how it turned out, actually. It's really simple with the greenery and pumpkins, little splash of fall color here. So let's go hang it on the front door. All right, well, that is it for this simple fall wreath. So thank you for joining me, us, <laughs> for this little project. And if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. And I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.